multiple intelligence theories. Firstly, let's think about intelligence. Often, an intelligent person will have a high IQ or specific skills that are considered to be valuable within their area of expertise. Alternatively, is someone who earns a lot of money intelligent? In 1983, Howard Gardner, a psychologist, published a multiple intelligences model based upon skills and competences. The model originally included seven intelligences. Then, in 1999, a further one was added. According to this theory, intelligence is a biopsychological potential that serves to process information, to create information and solve problems. The eight intelligences proposed by Gardner are musical, bodily kinesthetic, logical-mathematical, linguistic, spatial, interpersonal and intrapersonal, and the last one is naturalist intelligence, a living theory. It's possible that the number of intelligences might increase, but for now, let's look at those that exist. What is musical intelligence? Musical intelligence is the ability to produce, remember, identify and transform musical forms. It serves to feel melodies and rhythms, listen, transform and express musical forms. Musicians and composers, such as Mozart and Stravinsky, have musical intelligence. They need, need music and rhythms to help them think. What is logical mathematical intelligence? Logical mathematical intelligence is the ability to develop equations and patterns, to make calculations and to solve abstract problems. It's the ability to think things through in a logical way. It helps to solve logical and mathematical problems, to reason, to calculate. Mathematicians, scientists, statesmen, engineers such as Marie Curie, Albert Einstein possess this kind of intelligence. What is linguistic intelligence? Linguistic intelligence is the ability to formulate thoughts in words and use language effectively, either orally or in writing. It helps us to understand, express and appreciate complex meanings, remember, explain and analyse situations. Linguistic intelligence helps us to have a sense of humour and irony. Writers, poets, lawyers, public speakers all demonstrate this kind of intelligence. What is naturalist intelligence? Naturalist intelligence is the ability to recognise, distinguish, classify, appreciate things within nature and the environment. It helps us to show feelings and interact with living beings, to recognise and classify species, to evaluate the environmental impact, to distinguish the natural elements or search applications to the element of nature. Charles Darwin's a good example of a person who has naturalist intelligence. Biologists, geologists and herbalists also fall into this category. What is spatial intelligence? Spatial intelligence is the ability to form mental images of situations and use them in our thinking. It helps us to have a visual perception of things and to think in three dimensions or to make images and mental maps. Sculptors, architects, pilots, photographers and artists have spatial intelligence. An example of an artist might be Picasso. What is bodily kinesthetic intelligence? Bodily kinesthetic intelligence is the ability to use the body to express ideas and demonstrate feelings through hand-to-eye coordination and dexterity. It helps us to learn in a practical way through emotions. Sportsmen, actors, artisans, surgeons, mechanics, dancers like Martha Graham or Victor Ulate are examples of those who demonstrate bodily kinesthetic intelligence. People with high bodily kinesthetic intelligence need to move to think. What is interpersonal intelligence? 
Interpersonal intelligence is the ability to understand others and interact effectively with them by establishing and maintaining social relationships. It helps us to understand others, communicate and interact with them, empathise, work cooperatively and create synergies in a group. Actors, teachers, doctors, religious leaders, politicians, for example Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King, are examples of those with interpersonal intelligence. They have a high social competence. And finally, let's look at intrapersonal intelligence. Intrapersonal intelligence is the ability to know and understand ourselves, and to use that information effectively in our day-to-day -day activities. It helps us to know ourself, to understand our emotions, to recognise our values and beliefs, to become self-disciplined, to set goals and to plan. Psychologists and therapists, for example Sigmund Freud or Edith Stein, are those with a high knowledge of themselves and they use it to be able to help others.